Hello guys, welcome back. So today we are going to understand how we can deploy a Spring Boot application on our VPS. So I have a Spring Boot application. So this is my Spring Boot application. So now what I will do is I'll just configure my subdomain first. So let's go ahead and configure the subdomain. So I am going to log into my VPS server. Did you see this is my VPS server and I have a Nginx sudo systemctl status nginx okay so this is my nginx running on my vps now <clears throat> let's go ahead and see what is the domain that we are going to configure so our domain will be basically business dot grahaksathi dot com right so this is what i'm going to deploy now let's get started with the first step so guys the first step that you need to do is you need to go to your nginx sites available file so i'll just go ahead to the file <coughs> and if you see these are the site that is already configured so i'll configure one more subdomain so in order to configure one more subdomain so let's say i configure a path as well so the path will be where www business.grahaksati.com slash api slash html okay so if you guys are doing very new right so you might have a subdomain already or a domain already so for my use case i already have a domain so what i am doing i'm just creating a subdomain and creating ssl i'm not using a wildcard certificate in this so if you want then i can create another video where you can use in wildcard certificate let me know in the comment section if you really want to know about the wildcard certificate how to install and create a configure a subdomain so i'm just going to create a directory Okay, so I have just created a directory and what I will do is I'll just make an HTML file Okay so So my subdomain folder is now configured so what I will do is I don't know if I have corrected the business. Uh, let me see. Mm, yes. So the direct directory exists. So now let's go ahead and mm, configure the Nginx configuration. sudo vi. I'll just create a file with my subdomain name and I'll just copy paste this configuration. So this is the configuration where it will, sorry for that, where it will say that this is the domain configuration for our subdomain. So it's listening on 8080. So api.grahaksati.com. So I'll just update it to business.grahaksati.com because this is going to be our domain. business.grahaksati.com okay. I would have done it over there only but that's okay right so this is the domain configuration a simple domain configuration but there are a lot more into it we'll see that let's save the domain okay so now my domain is saved so then what i need to do is i need to create a soft link between the domain and the nginx sites enabled so i need to tell to nginx that this is the site that is enabled so for that what i need to do is i just need to do a sudo ln hyphen s so this is a basically linking so i'm just linking the domain so let's go there and just link the domain so by linking is done now what i will do is I'll just go ahead and check if my domain is loading or not, right? So
so let's see my domain is loading or not so this site cannot be reached now there is a trick to it so what you need to do is because um, our nginx is not able to understand what this business dot graksathi.com is so what i need to do is i need to go to my domain like domain provider so maybe godaddy or uh, whatever may be godaddy hosting or host cater a2 hosting whatever it is so i prefer godaddy because this is a bit costly but it good it provides a good service you can prefer if you need a cheaper service you can go for uh, hostinger but i will not recommend hostinger for business applications for business applications you can go to a2 hosting that is my personal experience or or get a vps if you have a good amount of load so i just go ahead in this and see what is there yeah so if you see over here there is a record with api so now i need to create one more a record with business Okay, and they'll just put the same value over there. Right, custom sixty or six hundred, I think. Okay. Yeah. So if you see, my A record got updated. because as putting a space in between so maybe that's the reason it is not getting updated so now if you go back in some time maybe 10 15 minutes it should be updated so before that what we need to do is we need to just restart the nginx So let the changes take place. So now my Nginx got restarted. So if you see business dot graphsathi dot com is loaded, and I'll do it. Right. So it is forbidden because maybe the page or something it is not allowed. Let's go ahead and check the permission. I'll just put the path name as API only because I already have one running with the proper permission. So just to check and verify, I'll just do this. There might be something which I missed doing. So let's see how it goes. Okay, so far, uh, yes. So if you see, this is working fine. So that means I have some issue with the permission. So maybe what I have done is. business ls uh, business dot grahaksathi is not there actually i think i think so let's see so i still there is also there so it doesn't have an index for it so that is the problem so what i'll do is i think we might not have done a cd and created that so let's create that right 
so just save and exit and go to cd home let's go to the sites available and then okay see sudo vi uh, business.ragsati.com let it open up okay so server got restarted now and let's see if it is there or not yes if you see we have site 2 enabled wow so now we have the site 2 enabled now what we will do is we'll go ahead and install the SSL on this so in order to install SSL this is the command that you should use no not this sorry I'll just see my history okay so 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 okay okay yes so this is the command that you should use and you can specify as many as many as domains you want and just doing business.grahaksati.com it tells me to wait for the verification cleaning up the changes now it will ask me whether i want to redirect all the http to the https or not so i'll do yes i'll select number two and then i press enter so that's how my site is configured now if you see its ssl connection is secure right so now what we need to do we need to deploy our spring boot application on this server now what I will do is I'll just go ahead and check what is the port on which my Spring Boot is running. So I have just B2B running on port. Okay, I think it is running on 1994. So my server is running. So what I will do is I will create a configuration for my server. So let's see how we can configure the server. I'll just take my configuration from the previous one. So I have done the similar thing on a previous server. So I'll just copy this. Okay. So this is my location slash API. So this is where my API route for my Spring Boot is going to hit. And this is going to hit the proxy pass HTTP localhost 8089. Right, so what I will do is I will take copy this. You can create a server block as well. That's completely fine. I have not created over here. You can you can do that. So let's go to business.grahaksati.com. Okay. So here inside the location slash I will have a location API. Okay. So instead of that I have location slash API and this is how my proxy pass will work. So now sudo nginx hyphen t let's see my test is successful or not. So my test is successful. restart my nginx slash api slash
So you see over here, so this is a Swagger that is loading and it is running on localhost 19444 API v1 plus Swagger UI-HTML index.html so this is the same url that i have configured over here and i am try able to load my spring boot application so that's it i think uh, now we are able to load our spring boot application and we can hit this api using our code or postman so if you have any question any clarification you want to know we can connect and connect on chat you can ask me your questions i'll reply so thank you guys for watching thanks a lot bye bye